but they're going off that shelf. That those are stacked showmen. God, time flies, man. That was a long ass time ago. Josh Koscheck was on Ultimate Fighter. Did you ever see the behind the scenes thing they did with him? Uh-huh. Where they show he has like this, like a Ferrari, a huge Hell house. Uh, I think it was an airplane. Yeah, <laughs> it was like. Yeah, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he was front team. He did some big fights. No, he, he did just, some big fights. He's really good with money too. Then. Yeah, he did some big fights. Um, yeah. Now he was always told me that he was great with money and had you know had that big crib and had plane and shit. I think he was on the the countdown show like flying a plane or something. Yeah. I always found him funny, man. Phenomenal wrestler. Phenomenal wrestler. <laughs> Josh Koscheck, if you guys don't know, he's had epic fights with GSP, Tyrone Woodley. The list goes on and on. I think he fought GSP twice. Um, somebody please correct me on that. But um, again, shout out to Brendan Sharp. Shout out to Below the Belt. Um, I'm surprised to hear that he's retiring now. I figured he retired a long time ago, you know. I figured he retired back with his uh, beef with Dana when Dana kicked him out of the UFC. He kicked him out for something actually really trivial, if I have to be honest. But again, Dana White is one... How can I put this? He can hold a grudge. He can hold a grudge, and at times he's a tad bit childish, especially with the Ben Askren situation. If you don't know who Ben Askren is, Ben Askren is considered by many MMA diehards to be one of the greatest welterweights, if not the greatest welterweight alive. And for those of you who are UFC diehards, you all know that to be George St. Pierre. For a while, many people, including Ben Askren himself, tried to get himself into the UFC to fight GSP. It never happened. And we all know the stopping energy was the immovable energy in that whole debacle was Dana White. I will say this though, right? Knowing what I know about MMA, I don't think that fight would be very interesting to watch simply because for the casual UFC or MMA fan. Simply because of the wrestling that's going to be involved, the takedowns, the probably lack of striking as a result of defending the wrestling. Um, I understand why he wouldn't be excited to make that fight. But for the MMA diehards, you know, me included, I want to see that. You know, I'm, I was really disappointed in Dana White when he didn't make that fight happen or didn't sign Ben Askren. You know, it, it was, again, it was Dana White's less popular moments. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. About this, I thought this guy was already retired, but I guess not. Gosh, Josh Koscheck just announced his retirement. Tulip wow. Thomas. Wow, it's time to do it. Yeah, I, th- I thought he was done too. Yeah. I loved uh, Josh K- Koscheck for a long time. He was like the first heel. Hardcore heel. Let's say first heel, like in the modern era of MMA. I'll say Tito Ortiz did his thing, but he was like a really like he didn't give off like Tito Ortiz had a lot of people who loved him, like love or hate Tito. He did a great job marking himself. He, so I don't really reference him as a heel. Josh Koscheck would get booed everywhere he went, everywhere. Man, we talked all that shit with Paul Daly, how he's gonna knock him out and not take him down, and then took him down, yeah. and Daly punched him in the face. Yep. I got kicked out of the UFC. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, you got, I've always liked Josh Koscheck for whatever reason. And remember, he was also the reason he was hated. There's one thing everyone in the world hates is bullies. So when Josh Koscheck was on the Ultimate Fighter, you know how bad he bullied Chris Levin? Yeah. Treat him like pure shit. Yeah. And Chris Levin was like kind of everyone's favorite. And, you know, he had his career.